Hey Libras and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your December 2018 channel messages. So this is for um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you, you fall in any of those, this reading is possibly for you. Um, all the messages will not uh, resonate, so just take what fits and leave what don't. Um, when I was meditating on your guys' sign and situations for the month of December, I kept seeing the number four and the number eight. So um, it's really about honoring your truth, honoring um, your path, staying true to you, finding out who you are, and honoring your um, mission in this life. Uh, it's very important that you keep your thoughts positive and uh, focus on what you want. And in turn, it will come to you that much faster. <clears throat> you have to excuse my voice. I'm catching a cold. Um, for some of you, your life is finally moving um, out of a very, very difficult time. For the last three years, you guys have really um, been through the ringer in 2018, especially. Your emotional um, core just doesn't know how much more it can take. The positive thing is, is you guys are coming out of that time period. You guys are, um, uh, you're emotionally transforming. You are, uh, raising to new higher vibrations because of this without even trying. You guys are naturally purging and uh, releasing things that no longer serve you. And it in turn is leveling you up. You guys are awakening. Um, if you haven't yet or you aren't yet, awakenings are coming, mass awakenings. Um, it's going to give you peace, peace of mind, peace within. Um, it's just going to really bring a whole new sense of balance, a whole new beginning for you. Like you are just, after you purge and release, you're naturally going to feel lighter. Um, the heavy, heavy energy that's been um, surrounding you guys now for a couple of years is finally going to uh, go away and your vibration is going to start raising. Hallelujah, right? So, um, for some of you, for some of you, you're really learning how to take back control of your life for the last three to six months. You've been going through this healing purging phase. Um, you kind of felt out of control, but by healing this, once your vibration rises, new love is coming in for you. For some of you, somebody new has already gotten your attention. Um, they are tempting you in the most um, amazing ways. This person is who they say they are. Their intentions are good. Um, and when I say tempting you, um, I'm not saying you're with somebody else. You know, I'm saying that you want so bad for this person to be who they say they are, to offer you what they say they're going to offer. Um, and you're holding back, giving this person a chance because you're scared due to the last three years of your life, what you've experienced. Um, so they're tempting you to come out of your safe zone and into um, being vulnerable in a relationship again. It's okay. Uh, this person is going to bring you lots of joy and passion and love into your life. Uh, for some of you... Um, there's new ideas that are just spinning around in your head. Um, yeah. Plant the seeds of intention with these ideas. These for some of these, uh, or for some of you, these ideas are huge. Um, and you're going to be financially rewarded for them. Um, I would say summer, like May, June, July, whatever you decide to, um, focus your energy on right now. And, uh, and plant your seeds, your harvest is going to be very abundant. Um, so go with it. For some of you, um, there's changes in relationship status coming for you. 
Um, your family size could be changing. You could be, you know, um, blending two families. You could be um, leaving somebody, and so your your family size got smaller. But um, but this is what's being called for. Uh, for some of you, you are meeting somebody very important in the month of December. I would say around the 16th to the 21st. Um, this person, they're really going to change how you think, how you feel, how you act. And it's going to bring in all new motivation for you. It's going to be like, finally, you know, somebody who, who is on your level, who sees things the way you do. Um, this doesn't even necessarily have to be romantic. This is just somebody you're meeting that you can bounce ideas back and forth off of, and they just get you. This person is going to become very important in your life. Um, yeah, you're going to have wishes fulfilled um, by meeting this person. For some of you, um, you have a Gemini or Taurus. Yeah, or Aquarius coming back. Um this person is, for some of you, they're brand new. For some of you, this is past life relationships. Um, okay, I'm just going to split that message. Okay, um, back up. So if you are meeting somebody for the first time, like going on a blind date or being set up by friends or something, if this person is a Gemini or a Taurus, this is going to be a great partner for you. This is um, for some of you. These are life partners. Um, for others, these are just long-term uh, commitments, relationships that are going to be very successful. This person is going to benefit your life. It's going to add to your life. So don't hesitate. Don't um, don't hold back because uh, these people were sent to you as a gift, as a uh, as someone to spend your life with who who you deserve. Um, beautiful souls coming in towards you. Now, if you are, you feel you're in the twin flame journey and they are a Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Aries. Yeah, they are returning to you. Um, not necessarily like for a relationship, but they are communicating with you in December. Um, you're not really sure how to take this. Uh, you do really miss this person. You really do want them back, but a part of you is pulling back because, um, for some of you, this would be the third time you've given it a go. Uh, you tried it once, it didn't work. You tried it twice, it didn't work. Both times they took off. Um, and now they're back a third time and you're just super hesitant about it. Um, remain, uh, guarded but not closed off does that make sense like don't believe everything that they're throwing at you um make them prove it make them show you you know if they want that relationship with you then do what you said you're gonna do and when you finally do what you say you're gonna do then we'll talk but until then um i'm good just the way i am so that's gonna really uh really give this person the push that they need because uh for some of you uh they were just offering sex they wanted an affair they wanted um they wanted to just have you there for them when they needed you you would text them and they wouldn't answer you back until two days later or you would want to go do something with them and they were too busy with friends or or whatever but when they wanted you there God damn it, you better be there or, or they were pissed. So when you stand up for yourself and you put those boundaries there and you, um, let them know that you're no longer, uh, putting up with that low vibrational, uh, energy from them anymore, it's going to push them in the right direction. This is really, um, going to give you back your personal power, uh, just remember, you can be whatever you want to be. You can be with whoever you want to be with. Um, you have the power to make you whoever you want you to be. 
Um, and so don't lose your sense of identity with that relationship. For some of you, you feel lost now that they're gone because you based your whole life off them, um, which so many people do because you want to make them happy. You want them to love you as much as you love them, which they do, but they're mirroring something that needs to be um, addressed. We need to get out of the cycle. Uh, for this group of you, you guys are in a cycle. Um, that's why this is your third go around. It's time to learn that lesson. Um, you guys are tired of lessons. You're tired of learning this lesson, but there's something that has to be learned from them bouncing back and forth. And what that lesson is for you guys is to set your boundaries, have self-love, have self-confidence, and um, know that you deserve better. When you um, draw that line in the sand, when you set your boundaries, that's your lesson learned. You have to learn to put your foot down and, and be who you stand for. Um, and then you guys can get out of this emotional cycle, uh, roller coaster that you guys have been in, because this is most definitely a vicious cycle that you guys have been suffering through for about the last three years, some a little less, some a little more, but, um, you've been dealing with this person about three years. Um, for some of you, you're really taking chances. You are realizing that life is too short to sit around and be bored and sad and lonely and you're just putting yourself out there. That's amazing. Your energy is just contagious and you are drawing people towards you like magnets. Um, don't don't uh, settle because your uh, soulmate is coming in for this group of you. You're kind of out there dating here and there. Um, you may have to kiss a couple frogs to get your prince. Well, your prince is coming in the end of December, beginning of January. Uh, I know you guys are thinking, well, how am I going to know if that's the one? Believe me, when you make eye contact with this person for the very first time, there's just something about them that you can't quite figure out. But um, you know that feeling almost like you've known them before. Uh, you're going to know that this is your soulmate. Um, most definitely for this group of you, you have not met them yet. So this will be the first time you are introduced to them and, uh, and it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful relationship. So stay strong, stay in there. Um, don't quit now because you're this close to, uh, coming into a connection with a real soulmate. Um, for some of you, you're scared to get out there. You're scared to put yourself out there to be vulnerable again. Um, you're scared to fail. You're scared to be hurt. Uh, but before we can learn to be brave, we have to fail. Otherwise there's no one there, nothing there to teach us how to be brave. So don't be afraid to fail. Um, don't be afraid to be hurt because it's inevitable in life. It's the ebb and flow. It's the wheel of fortune. Um, you win some, you lose some, but if you don't play the game, you'll never know. So make sure, uh, you're not going hermit mode and not coming out of it. For some of you, you're just feeling absolutely drained. It's time to nourish yourself. You've been giving and giving and giving and giving the last couple of years, especially 2018, with no exchange of energy back. You are drained, exhausted, um, tired. It's time to nourish yourself, nourish your soul. Um, do that by nature, going out for a walk, um, taking a walk around the block, Go to your local park, whatever, or wherever you can find a place to just sit in nature for five minutes. The energy of Mother Gaia will replenish you. Um, you just have to stop and breathe for a second. You guys are very busy. Um, and it's time to just stop and take a minute for you. Also, you're going to get some uh, revelation during this quiet time in nature. Um you're going to receive a message from source and it's going to come in a thought in the form of a thought an idea, but, um, it's your angels helping you. And it's about something that you have been confused about, um, for at least the last three to six weeks. Um, it's just something that's been blocking you. You can't figure out, 
um, what is going on. And all of a sudden it's going to click and it's going to propel you forward in very fast motion. Um, for some of you, uh, For some of you, December 10th is being shown to me. Um, this has something to do around your career, your job. You're realizing something that you've been overlooking. And it's very important that you catch this. Um, but you do. Around December 10th, December 11th, around there, um, it's also going to just come to you. Uh, and then it's going to be like, oh, all right. Finally, I've been staring at this problem forever and you take a, you take a minute away and you walk back to it and it comes to you. So, um, you can let go of the stress a little bit, um, because it's all going to work out. It's going to be okay. Um, for some of you, uh, December 16th is a huge date for you guys. Uh, you guys that this date is impacting is if you are in a separation from a past lover, whether that be a soulmate, a twin flame, whatever you like to call it, it's a divine partnership of some sort. Uh, you are hearing from them on the 16th. Um, yeah, you're not quite sure how to take this person either. They really hurt you. They ghosted you um, probably anywhere from 9 to 15 months ago, and you haven't had communication from them. They are reaching out to you. Um, they're trying to explain to you what happened, and you're just kind of in that place of healing like, I don't want to hear it. Sorry, I don't want to hear you. Um, yeah, it's time to heal from those past hurts. If you're in that uh, feeling of like, I hate that asshole. How could he do this to me? Fuck him. You know, that that's not going to work. You have to forgive the past. Um, you can't have any hatred. You can't have any uh, ill will or ill feelings towards the person, the situation or um, any of the above, or they will not come back for reunion. Um, it's unconditional love and the practice of so really take some time to, um, to concentrate on healing whatever it is inside you that um, is causing you this resentment or anger. Um, so when they do return, you guys can move forward. Because for this group of you, you will be in full union within the year. Like from December of 18 to December of 19, you will come back into union. <coughs> so the sooner you deal with the issues and heal from them, the sooner that you guys can move forward and um, begin your soul's journey together as um, partners in your soul's mission. Uh, for some of you, you're finding a balance um, in your finances. This is going to be around the 23rd. Some of you have some form of uh, monetary gain coming in for you. Um, this is really going to help you balance out your finances. Um, you've been kind of struggling, uh, you know, trying to decide what bill to pay with this paycheck and the rest are going to have to wait. You're no longer going to have to deal with that. The 23rd, you are either getting a letter or getting a gift. Um, you're getting a letter saying you have money coming towards you or somebody is gifting you this money. Um, cause either way, it's a hell of a good gift. I would take either one. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really going to allow you to balance out your life in general um, because you're no longer going to have to choose what bills you have to pay. You're no longer going to have to spend 12, 14 hours at work trying to make ends meet while your family's at home. Um, it's really going to balance out everything for you. This is a true gift of abundance from the heavens um, because for this group of you, you have worked so hard and dedicated so many hours to trying to make ends meet for your family that is time for you to balance that out, spend some time with your family and not have to worry about your finances so much anymore. Um, around the 30th of December, I'm seeing the 30, 30th of December and then January 3rd. So I don't, I'm guessing in that time frame, 
or these two separate dates, someone is coming in to make you an offer. This is going to bring huge changes to your life. Um, it's going to be have, make huge changes affecting your home, um, possibly your career if you're moving homes. Um, but this is a this is a huge. Uh, I keep wanting to say reward, but not reward. This um, person coming in making an offer is going to change your life for the better. Um, this is affecting your life, your home, your job in the most positive way. Um, and it's going to bring excitement to your life. It's going to bring fresh air to your life, fresh situations, fresh environment, and uh, just a whole new um, outlook on life. For some of you, um, it's just going to allow your your heart to be at peace. Um, you've been really holding out for this person, really holding on in the hopes that they were returning. And for this group of you, they are. Um, for some of you, there's somebody in your energy or your partner's energy that is starting rumors, lies, um, telling your partner things that aren't true about you, um, really trying to put a rift between the two of you. Um, this possibly could have made your partner leave uh, in the past. Your partner is finding out the truth that what they were told were lies. It's like a bunch of, it reminds me of middle school, like just uh, immaturity that this outside energy has now brought to your relationship, bringing unnecessary drama for their entertainment purposes only, which is ridiculous. But your partner is going to hear the truth, see the truth, find the truth, and they will be reaching out to you in December um, to offer an apology and um, ask for a second chance. Uh, for some of you, you have somebody new coming in. Um, this is somebody that you just met uh, within the last month or will meet them in the next month. They're going to kind of like, wow, you like, like you're going to feel like a high schooler again. And uh, just when you've moved on past your ex, you have moved um, towards somebody whose energy is absolutely amazing. Sure shit, your ex is going to come back. Your ex is coming in the minute you moved on. And um, this is a twin flame relationship. And I know I've said it before and I'm sure other readers have too. Uh, we told you this would happen. You have to be in a space of moving past uh, the relationship, the need to have that twin. Um, they are returning. They are stepping up their game because they're scared they're going to lose you. Um, this is really up to you. You have a choice between these two people. No matter what path you pick, you are going to be happy. So honestly, follow your heart, your intuition, um, listen to what your angels are pointing you towards and enjoy the relationship that you choose. Um, but make sure you don't split your energy now. Nourish the one that you want to succeed and it will. Um, but you're going to have to cut the other one completely off. Uh, sorry, my candle just like tipped. That was crazy. Um, kind of scary. Um, good thing it wasn't, or good thing it was, uh, still on the base. Otherwise it would have started a fire. Um, but now I've lost track of what I was saying. Oh yeah. You have to, um, not, or you can't divide your energy. You have to nourish the relationship that you want. Um, you will be happy. You will be loved in no matter what situation you pick. Um, for some of you, you are finally, um, you're finally finding peace after you found out you were a third party or you left a third party situation. Um, as in like either you were the third party or you had the third party. You are putting um, that energy to a stop. You are walking away in both situations. And um, and this is really going to uh, bring lighter energy in your space. 
for some of you, um, for this group of you, this is a twin flame as well. This This person, um, honestly, is so focused on themselves right now that they're not realizing how bad they're hurting you. Um, and if they do realize it, they're not really caring. Um, it's borderline narcissistic behavior. Um, walk away from it. Nobody should be in a relationship like that, whether they're a twin or not. Um, that behavior is never okay. That's another lesson to be learned putting your foot down, setting your boundaries. It's very important um, because they're just offering you sex right now. Uh, for some of you, you've already walked away. And for some of you, you are walking away. You are putting a stop to this because you know you deserve more. You know that someone, this person's treating you like shit and you know it. You know you want more. You know they're not giving you what you need, what you want. Um... So why stick around? But the minute you're not there for them, they are like a big baby. I'm sorry if you're a cross watcher, but you're a big baby. Um, honestly, they didn't think you would leave. They didn't think you would walk away. So when you finally do, or if you already have, they're like, oh. what? after all this, all we've been through, all the all these years of this um, relationship, you can just walk away that easy and you're just, there's no even sense in explaining to them that this is not easy for you, that you have put up with this bullshit for far too long and you deserve better and you better either step up your game or I'll find somebody that will treat me better. Um, because yeah, they're just like shocked and shook at the same time. They're like, how could they just walk away? Um, they are going to realize how they've treated you, what they've done wrong, and what they need to do to come at you with a real offer. Um, yeah, they just, I keep hearing they didn't really think you would go. Um, they will give you another offer, but not until you stand your ground and you leave that situation. You put your foot down and tell them you deserve better. You need to be treated better. You need to be a priority in their life because right now they don't have time for you. Or you're going to find somebody that will offer you that. And when you walk away and let them sit and think about it for a week or two, they're going to come back by the end of December with a huge offer that um, is going to surprise you. Right now you're thinking, no way this can be me. This ain't my message. There's no way he can come back. And uh, this is a, a ma divine masculine. Um, the divine feminine is saying, there's no way that this message is for me because there's no way he's going to come out of the blue and offer me that. Yep. He's coming back at the end of December, beginning of January, um, with an offer, a real offer, a true offer that you can believe. And he will back it up. Um, because right now this person is emotionally unavailable for this group of you. You know exactly what I'm talking about. If I'm talking about your situation. Um, keep the faith, keep the hope, continue to heal from this hurt that he caused and, um, start walking your own path. He'll catch up, uh, and he will offer you stability. That's all you really are wanting right now. You just want him to be stable and there and someone you can count on and to give you respect and, and treat you the way you deserve to be treated. And they're just not doing that right now. To get out of this cycle, you're going to have to um, set your boundaries and walk. Um, now, this could be an earth sign. There's Virgo, I see, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Really, everybody but a fire sign. I'm not seeing any fire signs in this group. Um Yeah, it's just really time to, like I said in the very beginning, um, it's time to honor your thoughts, honor your own truths, um, your own beliefs, and really just, it's time to walk in your uh, 
Oh, what am I, what am I trying to say? It's time to walk in your path. It's time to reclaim who you are, gain your personal power, and the right person is going to come in for you. Uh, for those of you who are super single, uh, you guys are meeting somebody uh, within the next two weeks that will um, begin as a friendship. But by February of this coming year, uh, it will move into the next level. For those of you who have been separated from a soulmate for 10 plus years, almost 20 years for this group of you, they are reaching out to you. Um, you haven't heard from them in years and they are phoning you up, um, seeing how you're doing, how things are going. Um, allow this person in. Exchange your stories that you've learned in separation and um, enjoy each other's company. It will move on to a higher level of love if you if you allow it, if that's what you want. For some of you, you had like, uh, almost kind of like a hookup, uh, what do you call it? Friends with benefits person that you haven't talked to in probably the better of a year, or they've been trying to get with you and you're just kind of pushing it off. They're going to show up at the end of December, beginning of January and give you an offer that kind of blows you away. Um, this person has been sprung on you since, they acted like, oh, it's just a booty call type thing, but they wanted more. But when you weren't um, giving the inclination that you wanted more, they were too cool for school and didn't come forward um, saying that they wanted to be with you. But they are now. So um, be watching for this. Uh, really just stay optimistic about your love life for all you Libras. You are coming out of an emotional hurricane of 2018. And you are now allowed to just sit back and set sail at the sunset because you guys are really, really been through hell this last year. You've purged, you've uh, released, and now it's time for the universe to bring in your partners, to bring in your love interests, um, your life partners, soulmates, twin flames. Uh, just always stay optimistic. Keep the faith. Stay hopeful and continue to heal because December and January is going to be huge months in love for our Libras. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Thank you for coming to my channel. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.